there's never a doubt uh, when I think about things. You know, people talk about you know um, second guessing. I, I definitely made the right decision to come to Stanford. I'm extremely happy. Uh, it's probably one of the biggest decisions of my life, and I got it right. So that was that's definitely a win. Um, as far as you know, playing wise and, and stuff like that, it was it was un incredible to be a part of a team that ended up my, my last game being in the Rose Bowl. So uh, decisions after college, you know, it, it, it took a while to get where we are uh, here at ESPN. Um, but uh, the, the time here and the decision to come here was absolutely astronomical in, in, in my lifetime. It's all about the people. You meet people here, whether it's advisors, coaches, professors, friends, peers, um, it's that's that's what it's about, and it's it's about re, you know building relationships and, and finding trust in people, and looking ahead to you know networking and, and you know ultimately being successful when you leave here. That's what's made Stanford uh, a place that everybody wants to come, as they see the success that people have after they spend their time here. A lot of people talk about what you know versus who you know. It ended up coming down to who I knew. Um, I did have the communications degree from Stanford, which obviously is a big to-do and a huge uh, um, what you need in order to get your foot in the door uh, in Bristol at ESPN. But it was, you know, coaching locally and, and finding a person that had previous experience at ESPN that was doing high school games uh, and then doing those high school games in order to get some experience to put on a tape and, and, and bring to ESPN. Um, so it was what I knew when I was in college and then who I knew after, which is also a part of Stanford, because now, you know, being at ESPN, there's plenty of Stanford folks there um, that you've, you've grown to, uh, you know, grow with and, and become friends with, even though you're at different times. Uh, so obviously the Stanford part uh, speaks for itself, but you have to be lucky and you have to be willing to talk to people that um, you might not think you have to when you're going through the process. I, mean, I know a lot has changed in media and people are we're supposed to hide you know, where they went to school to, you know, worry about biases and stuff. But I think, you know, with social media out there and everybody knowing where everybody's from, uh, I think that's gone the way, by the wayside. So I'm as proud as it can be to, to represent Stanford. The world traveler Stanford, Steve joins us. Yo. What did you do today? We're doing work down here. We're trying to help out the show. I think it was just the way Scott could remember my name was just call me Stanford Steve, and that way he could remember that, oh, all right, I know who that is now. But uh, no, it's, you know, I, I, like I say, I proudly wear as much as I can at all times. So um, it's, it's it, it made me the person I am today, so I can't be uh, more grateful to, to this place for that. I'm here. This is me. Uh, I love Stanford, and I try and show that to, to people and represent as much as I possibly can. There's not a day that goes by that I don't take pulling into those gates at ESPN for granted. Uh, I love going to work every day. Um, it's always what I've wanted to do. It's exactly what I thought it would feel like being there and being around the people that are there. So um, it's it's been a long process, but I, I, I am truly grateful for uh, where I am right now. Did you wear a Vin Scully shirt to a Giants game? Yeah. I mean, that'd be like wearing a Cal shirt. You're a Stanford guy. You understand that? No. No. It's nothing like Stanford Cal.